Bye bye birdie, bye bye. These two guys are going away and we're gonna put a new mural in place. Uh, stay tuned and watch the progress as I get to painting. So as you can see, we're gonna do a mural project today and I'm gonna share the process with you. Of course, this is gonna be a bit of a time lapse. You're gonna see it through the whole process. And also at the very end, I'm going to show you what kind of anti-graffiti coating that I put on this and showed you how I applied it. And in case you're doing your own murals, then you have just a little more information moving forward. So stick around until the end to see that part. I'm really excited about this mural and I was really excited about the prospect of doing an animal so large. Of course I've done several tigers and so I felt like this was really in my wheelhouse and really was going to make a big impact in this alley. The client uh, wanted some signature pieces in this alley that were going to stick around as the alley changes and artwork changes in there. These will be some staples that are consistent and they represent our community here in Pocatello. And just to give you a little backstory, uh, ISU, Idaho State University, that is located here in Pocatello, their mascot is the Bengal, and so this guy fits right in. So let's get to the video. Here you can see I'm priming this wall. These are actually two of my murals that I've done in the past for our Old Town Alley project. And so I'm just using some primer here to cover that up so my tiger will be nice and vibrant. Next, I'm moving on to the doodle grid, and this is kind of a stream of consciousness portion of the mural. Uh, it looks kind of like somebody has vandalized it, but actually this helps create a grid so I know how I can place my tiger on there and the proportions will be correct and I can get in place exactly where I want to. Okay, it's day two and Today we're gonna to put down the outline for the tiger and it should be a good time. It's nice and cool here today, so I'm excited to get started. One thing about working in the alley is I get a lot of foot traffic, a lot of interest, and people will come over and kind of check out what you're doing and they wanna to talk to you about your project and so you'll see lots of people kind of in and out and kind of stopping and talking to me while I'm here in the alley and I even had a nice police officer come and talk to me he'd never seen this alley and so he thought it was pretty neat and so it was a great opportunity to share with another member of our community that we have some art and culture here in Pocatello. Not a great day to, to do a mural. Okay, it's day three in the alley and as you can see, there is no snow. So today we're gonna get to painting and see how far we get. All right, it's day four in front of the mural here, and uh, we're gonna add some more color today and try to get all the local color down and start doing some detailed work too. So stay tuned.
So day five in the mural, day five, tiger's alive, let's go. day six today in the alley. I'm working on foliage today, so we'll see how far I get. I'm pretty close to thinking I'm done here, so let's see. What are you doing? Hi. I'm just gonna eat tree bark. Okay, today should be the last day painting here in the alley. And then tomorrow I'll be back to paint a clear coat anti-graffiti protectant on it. And I'll film that as well too, because I'm sure there are some folks out there who are interested in learning a little bit more about that as well. So, all right, let's get to day seven. This is the anti-graffiti coating that I used for this wall. I actually only needed to use a couple applications and as you can see, I'm just rolling it on here. It has a very watery consistency and it looks kind of like milk when you put it on. If you liked this video and you learned something new today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see more of my work and more of my classes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with a little bell. You know, the, you know the drill. And until next time, until the next mural project, I will see you later.